The Global Forest Resources Assessment began in 1948. It was one of the first things that FAO decided to do when it was created. Its initial purpose was to help the world understand what wood supplies would be available for future development, whether it was reconstruction or additional development. Since then, it's evolved to a report that's done every five years, covers the entire globe, and describes the changes in the forest resources of the globe. There are three main methods. The first is submissions by countries themselves. The second is completion of desk studies that are done by FAO for the countries and territories that cannot or do not provide country reports. And the third part is remote sensing, where we conduct remote sensing analyses globally and provide them to countries for their review. FRA 2015 brings some really in interesting and exciting results. First of all, it shows that management of forests has improved dramatically over the last 25 years. The assessment covers the period 1990 to 2015, and there have been improvements in almost all forest management categories. Planning, knowledge, legislation, policies, uh, a whole range of, of new features that countries have implemented or begun implementing. At the same time, uh, the designation of additional forest land for conservation and in protected areas has increased dramatically by 200 million hectares in terms of additional forest and protected areas. At the same time, during that period, there were 129 million hectares of forest loss, a number that many people were interested in. Whilst for some that's still a, a discouraging number, it is a number that responds primarily to the demand for agricultural land. Most of that land is converted to agriculture. The good news there is that the rate has slowed. It's less than half from 2010 to 2015 than it was from 1990 to 2000. So the rate is, of loss is slowing. FRA 2015 has multiple uses for multiple audiences. We seek to inform an academic audience through um, a special issue of the for Journal of Forest Ecology and Management, which will reach about half of our main audience, which are researchers, students, professors. We also provide information back to governments to help them understand how things are changing in their country compared to changes in, in other countries. We help provide information for investment, both uh, to governments, investors in the private sector, intergovernmental agencies, donors, in the hope that these data will help inform additional needs for investment in forestry. And we hope to inform the public because the public is keenly interested in what happens in forests and how they're changing. FRA 2015 provides a great deal of information there at, at all levels of detail.